Hello, my friends. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? ¿No me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Ok, how do I sound? ¿Cómo suena? Suena muy apropiadamente, claro y fuerte, o alejado, o con eco. How do I sound? One, two, three. Hello, hello. Claro y fuerte. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much for your sí, feedback. Que, por motivo de salud estará de oyente, teacher. Okay, mister. I hope you get better soon. Espero que se mejore pronto. Thank you. Okay. So. All right. Let's start the class. Today is the class number 22. 22. All right, so let's get started. Welcome to another English class. Okay, so there we go. Okay, one of the one of the structures that we're going to go over today are the um the passive voice but in present perfect. the present perfect, but in passive voice. So remember in the passive voice, uh, we use the following structure. For example, we use, first of all, the subject, right? In English, we have different of subjects. For example, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, etc. Okay, or seven if I'm not wrong, or eight if you want to include you. Then we have the, the, Ah, the auxiliary either have or has, then the verb to be in past participle, which is been, and also the past participle of the verb. For example, here. For example, here it says the subject. The subject here in this sentence. ¿Cuál es el sujeto acá? Bueno, es I have been taken away. Okay, ¿cuál es el sujeto? El sujeto es I. The auxiliary, it is have. Plus, the past participle of the verb to be because in, in, in passive voice, we always use, we always use uh, the verb to be plus the past participle of the verb. And this sounds, it would, this would sound like yo He estado, I, I left around here, have been taken, habrá sido tomado. Okay, so today we're going to go over that structure. We're going to have some online exercises. And also we're going to have some, okay, some uh, written exercise as well. Okay, and many more. So there we go. For example, let's let's begin with a conversation that we practiced yesterday. This is in page uh, 35. Do you have the page ready? Do you have the page ready? Hello? Ya tenemos la página. Do you have the page ready? Ok, page 25. Recordarles que ya estamos finalizando la unidad eh, 3, 4 y para el viernes si pueden tener finalizado las tareas para que ya el día lunes ya estemos completo con sus notas en el sistema. Ok, this is the class number 22, if I'm not wrong, 20, 22, 21. And the conversation that we have today, well, yesterday you had this conversation. Okay, okay, it says G. Do you know what G is? Okay, here it is like surprise, okay? It's a, a, a phrase like Jesus or oh my God, okay? Those are expressions that people use to express surprise or something that happened suddenly. I look at so repentinamente and it says have my safety googles been stolen 
Do you know what Googles are? Do you know what Googles are? Do you know? Lentes. I'm sorry? Los lentes de protección. Exactly. Okay. Googles. Those are like glasses. Okay. Then we have, it says, G, have my safety Googles been stolen? What is, what, what does this verb mean? Stolen. What is the infinitive? La forma infinita. What is the infinitive form? Robados. Steal. Okay, la forma infinite, infinita. Infinity form. Steal. steal. Excellent. So we have steal, stole, stolen. That is the past participle. Okay. Uh, let's start. It says, G, have, a, have my safety Googles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Do you know what anywhere is? Do you know what anywhere? En ningún lado. Exactly. Okay, en ningún lado, ninguna parte. Okay, excellent. Let's continue. Your Googles, your Googles have been taken away. There are there are a uh, new safety measures in the plan. Do you know what taken away? Aquí la forma infinita sería take away. Do you know what take away is? Take away. Also, uh, there is another expression like uh, put away. Do you know what take away is? I'm sorry? Uh, take away como llevar. llevar. Llevar, guardar. Okay. Take away. Aquí como está en participio, tenemos que utilizar la forma participio del verbo take, la cual es um, taken. Taken. Okay, it says, it says, uh, your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got the, you got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear, ah, what does measures are? What are measures? Medidas. I'm sorry? Medidas. Medidas, exactly. Medidas, very good. Okay. Uh, it says, you gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. Esa expresión, got, you've got, es como yo, tú tienes, o yo tengo. Por ejemplo, se dice, tengo dos eh, hijos. I got two kids. I got two sons. Tengo una casa, puede decir, I've got a, I got a house. Es una expresión que significa posesión. Yo tengo que. I've got a. Que a la hora de pronunciarla rápido, el, el, el you've or el I've, esta contracción del have, solo no se pronuncia muy fuerte. Que es como I, I've got a. O I've, me tengo que ir. Gotta go. Me tengo que ir. Gotta go. Gotta go now, right now. O tengo que decirte algo. I, I got to tell you something. I got to tell you something. Otra expresión podemos utilizar utilizando got. Eh, let me see. Tengo dos automóviles. I got two cars. I got two cars. I got a house. I got two friends. I got a cell phone. Okay. Significa posesión. I got or I got. Acá lo que dice es you gotta be kidding como una forma de sorpresa. Alguien investigó qué significaba you've got to be kidding. Tienes que estar bromeando. Exactly, okay. Esta es como una expresión bastante común, el kidding es como bueno, no es cierto, te estoy tomando el pelo. Estamos jugando, okay? Got to be kidding. 
También otra expresión muy parecida es como no kidding. No kidding. No kidding, ¿ok? Esa es otra expresión como no molestes o de verdad, en serio, está bromeando. No kidding. Ok, next. Um, ok, you gotta be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required. Do you remember what require is? Requerir. Requerir. Requerir, ok. Tú requieres o tú está, tú requieres o yo requería. Ok, you require. Okay, you gotta be, you gotta kidding, you gotta be kidding, you are required to wear. Do you remember this, this word, this verb? What does it mean? I'm sorry? Como vestir. Vestir, okay. Uh, something very important it is that in English we don't use the verb use, okay? No utilizamos el verbo usar. Ok, para referirse a una prenda, sino que eh, siempre se utiliza el verbo vestir. Por ejemplo, you gotta wear some glasses. Tienes que ponerte. Ok, si la hiciéramos si de una forma literal, utilizáramos el verbo poner, que es put. Sin embargo, como ustedes saben, cada idioma tiene sus propias formas de expresarse o decir una, algunas cosas. Siempre van a haber un vacío. Entonces, lo que hacemos es acoplarnos a la estructura o buscar la, la equivalencia más cercana. Entonces, el verbo vestir siempre, bueno, cuando nos referimos a una prenda, lentes, sombrero, corbata, lo que vamos a utilizar, eh, el verbo wear. Por ejemplo, ella está usando lentes. She's wearing some sunglasses. She's wearing sunglasses. She, uh, they are wearing uh, jeans. Uh, she's wearing some high heels. High heels. Okay. Okay, estoy claro con esta con el wear, con el uso de wear. Yes, no. Yes. Good. Yeah. All right, for also. Uh, what is the past form of the verb wear? The past form. War. Ok, war. Por ejemplo, puede decir, ayer me puse una camisa negra. Bueno, <laughs> yesterday I wore some, I wore a black t-shirt. Uh, two weeks ago I wore uh, a dress, my favorite dress. Ok, etc. Well, um, another, ok, protection, gloves. Do you know what gloves are? Gloves. Guantes. Guantes. Eh, vest. Cinta. Exactly. Reflective. No. Hello. Chaleco. Okay. Chaleco reflectivo. Puede llegar a la vez, 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 puede llegar a la vez
Okay. Um, okay, reflective vest. Okay, vamos. Esta, la pronunciación de esto eh, es con los dientes superiores. Los tenemos que colocar en el labio inferior y con una leve vibración vamos a decir vest. Vest. Okay, vest. Sin, porque, le explico, um, si lo dice con los lo dientes cerrados, okay, y dice best, está diciendo mejor. Entonces, los sonidos de la V tienen que ser un poquito exagerados para poder ser entendidos. Okay? Vest protection o reflective vest. Y les cuento y les comento porque hay una pequeña anécdota con las V. No sé si ya lo he comentado, pero antes trabajaba en un servicio que llamábamos a Estados Unidos, entonces le vendíamos vending machines. La vending machine se escribe con V. Okay. Y está una máquina que dobla metales, okay, que se, se llaman vending machine. Se escribe con la B. Entonces le decíamos, hey, I would like to, I don't know if you want to buy a vending machine. Y yo no pronunciaba bien, no pronunciaba bien la V. La pronunciaba con una B normal. Entonces, una máquina que dobla metales, ¿de qué sirve en una farmacia o en un colegio o en una oficina? Entonces, no me entendía. Hasta que me dijeron que tenía que pronunciar mejor la V. Entonces, dice, hey, I don't know if you wanna, if you wanna buy a, a vending machine. O sea, ahorita estoy pronunciando mal, vending. Es una máquina que dobla metales, es una máquina grande. Y me dice, hey, why do I need that machine in my office? ¿Para qué necesito esa máquina en mi oficina? Entonces, desde que empecé a pronunciar mejor la V. Best. Vending. Vending. Beautiful. Best. Ok. Um, ok. Ese es un pequeño tip. Ok. Las V. All right. Uh, well, it's, it says protection belt. Helmet. Helmet. Do you know what helmet is? When do you, when do you wear a helmet? When do you wear a helmet? Ride a bicycle. I'm sorry? When ride a bicycle. Exactly. When you ride a bicycle, when you ride a motorcycle. Okay. What else? When, when do you wear a helmet? When you are in a construction area. Excellent. When you are in a construction area. Very good. Helmet. Jacket. Okay. Jacket. I like jackets. All right. Rubber boots. Ear plugs. ¿Saben qué son estos? Ear plugs. Exactly. Okay. Here. You put it here in your ear. Okay. Tools. You know what tools are? Herramientas. 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 Por ejemplo, what are the tools that you use when, when you practice your English? What are the tools that you use? For example, in my case, the tools that I use is YouTube, uh, music, also movies. Let me see. Uh, books. What are the tools that you use to learn or to practice English? Exactly. I'm sorry. The work, the worksheets that you give ah, us. Okay. Do you practice after the class? Sometimes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, here we have two source in proper location. So my Google's. And the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tools room. tool. Okay. Uh, what what are what is scattered? Ok, 
scattered. Do you know what scattered is? Dispersado, dispersar, disperse. I'm sorry? Uh, como dispersar. Okay, exactly. How are your things in your bedroom? ¿Cómo están sus cosas en, en su dormitorio? Bedroom. Are scattered or are organized? In order, teacher. In order. Are you sure? Yes, includes okay. my husband. In order. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Very good. All right. Excellent. Let me see. Scattered. How are your things in your office? In order or scattered? In order. In order. Okay. Excellent. Uh, well, it says, yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay. Now you are Joel and I'm Diego. You are Joel and I'm Diego. Are you, are you ready? You can read. Okay, three, two, one, action. I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. What are those, what are those measures, measures about? about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear, ear plugs, store tools in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools are around here. I left around. Have they been taken away? Yes. The safety plan has been designed to prohibit the scattered tools outside the tool room. Excellent. Now. You, I'm Joel and you're Diego. Ready? It says, gee, have my safety Google been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Uh, Google have been taken away. away. You say there, there are new safety, are safety measures, measures in the plant. In the plant. Okay. It's not measures. It's measures. Me measures. Measures. Okay. Uh, you got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear air protection. 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 protection. Air 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 protection. Suena como shun, shun. Entonces, es como una, por ejemplo, dice determination, location, population. Ok, entonces ese shun es como una SH, una sh, y después se convierte en una A cerradita. Entonces no es O, no es location, es location, como una A, location. Eh, population una A cerrada ok population un ok ok en qué estaba ah so my googles and yeah right so my googles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away yes the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit the Outside the tool room. Excellent. Good. Okay. Uh, what items? Okay, yo sé que en español decimos ítems, ¿verdad? Pero acá es items. What items is Joel looking for? What items is Joy looking for? Do you know what look for is? ¿Saben qué es look for in or look for? The Google. ¿Saben qué significa look for? Buscando. Buscando, ok. For example, me estoy buscando mi eh, celular. I'm looking for my cell phone. I'm looking for my soulmate. Ah, ¿saben qué es soulmate? Soulmate. Como mi alma gemela. Soulmate. 
Okay, have you found your soulmate? What items is Joel looking for? ¿Qué está buscando? What is he looking for? looking for his Google. Okay, Joel is looking for his Googles. Where did he leave them? Where did Joel leave the Googles? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Can you please put your microphone closer? Uh, Requiring to wear our protection. No, no. My question is, where did Joel, Joel, whatever, uh, leave his Googles? Leave the heart. Where did he leave his Googles? ¿A dónde los dejó? Where did he leave the Googles? He left around outside the two room. Exactly. Okay, he left his Google outside the two rooms. It seems, it seems, parece que, it seems he is disorganized. It seems, it seems he is disorganized. Okay. Uh, what is, what is, or what is, what is the new safety, la palabra favorita de mi Cecilia creo que es, safety measure about, what is the new safety measure about? To wear, uh, require to wear air protection. Okay, Below. one more time, one more time, please. They are required to wear air protection, gloves, Excellent. reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, air props, a sports pool, and proper location. Proper location. Okay, exactly. The rules, the rules that they have or the new safety measure is that they need to wear like many things to protect their bodies. For example, Google's ear plugs, uh, boots, and etc. Thank you, me, Sandra. All right. In your job, in su trabajo, in your job, what are some safety measures about? What are some safety measures about? Or in case you don't have. Let me know. Sometimes when we... I... We need to use some time. I'm sorry. Reflective vest. We I'm use sorry? reflective. We use reflective vest. Ah, okay, you use reflective vest. Yes. When? 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 when the personal. I, how do you say? A simulacro. Or. Yes, yeah, simulacro. For. Airquake in the library. We uh, need do you to... have do you have reflective bell in yes. your job? Yes. Okay. And the only. Okay. Well, uh, it says here simulacrum. 
but I have heard also like rehearsals, rehearsals, ensayos, or simulacrum. Also, eh, drill. You can use drill, como simulación. Drill. Rehearsal. Okay. A test. Okay, okay sinónimos ahí. All right, excellent. Me, another safety measure that you have in your job, what is? What it is? Tell me some safety measure that you have. I'm sorry? Hello? In my case, in my case, I, I use, um, Air clothes. Uh, do you use or do you wear? Uh, I wear. Uh -huh. Okay, one I time. wear. <clears throat> In my case, I weigh air plus and 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 shoes. Uh, security shoes okay, or security. industrial shoes. All right, got it. Excellent. Very good. Another safety measure that you have. Miss Cecilia, do you have safety measure in your job? Medidas de seguridad? Quiero ver. Extintor. I'm sorry? Extintor. Ah, okay. For the um, fire, right? Um, okay, thank you. Let me see. In your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the protection plan? In your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? Why do you think why do you think the tools shouldn't be disorganized? Okay, any volunteer? What do you think the things, okay, creen que las cosas or the tools shouldn't be disorganized? Okay, well, let's continue. All right, the passive voice. The passive voice is used when the emphasis of the sentence is in one, the action, and not on the subject. Your Googles have been taken away. Okay, in this sentence, number one, uh, tell me, what is the subject of the sentence? What is the subject? Here. Your Google. Okay, your Googles. What is the auxiliary? Have. 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 What is the verb to be? Been. Been. What is the past participle? Taking. 
They can. Okay, excellent. Taken, this, right? This um, it says in sentence one, the person who took away the Googles is not important. En la, en la oración número uno, dice que la, la persona que tomó los, los Google no es muy importante, por eso no es mencionada. Ok. Eh, all right. Here you have the structure. Aquí tenemos la estructura. Passive voice, question. I'm sorry. Uh, passive voice, statement. ¿Cuál es la estructura que debemos seguir para con, crear una... una oración utilizando el passive voice en present perfect. La estructura es la siguiente. Primero, el objeto. En este caso, el sujeto también. Seguido de, ya sea, either have or has, must been. Que ese been tiene que ir sí o sí. Esas dos cosas van a ir siempre. Have or has, must been, tiene que estar por ley para convertirse en passive voice. Es como cuando se dice ha sido. Ese ha es en inglés la equivalencia sería have or has. Y ese sido del, del verbo ser o estar en la forma participe en español sería been. Y ahí después va el verbo en forma participio. Que ¿okay? es un poquito como un trabalengua. Pero, ok, that is the formula that we need to follow. Okay, for example, I'm going to let you work on this exercise. Three new safety measures. Recuerdan la estructura. Okay, y en esta parte es pregunta. Así que se va a aplicar primero la, la siguiente fórmula. ¿Cuál es esta? Okay, voy a dejar que trabajen en ellos. Vamos a darles. Son six. Okay, six minutes, one per each minute. Okay, six minutes. According to my watch, you will finish at 8.46. 8.46. Okay, let's start right now.
two minutes. One minute left. Okay, let's start. Did you finish? Did you finish? Finalizamos? I think so, yes. You think so? Okay, let's start. Okay, number one. Three new safety measures. First of all, the auxiliary. What it is? Make. Me, mm -mm, the auxiliary have been, uh, have the been, three three new safety measures have, i'm have, sorry have been have, been, have, oh. have, have okay have this was que seguía Been. been have been cuál es el verbo issues for me issues but i don't know <laughs> oh great okay let's see okay, okay. Uh, number two. Number two. We, we have been given new I'm sorry. We have. We have been given new earplugs. We have been given new earplugs. 
plot. All right, then this new safety goals are nice. They are being innovated. Innovated, have been innovated. Three new steel, three, three new steel toe boots. The name of genuine letter. Let, later, I don't know what is the pronunciation. Being made, made has been made. Okay, the new, of, the new the steel made? toe boots have been made of genius leather. Genius leather. Thank okay, you. cuero autentico, genius leather. Que no andan con pobreza, que cuero de real, cocodrilo. Okay, uh, number five, number five. Capital letter. Have. Have. New safety officer office officer issued. Been. Have been used issued. Number five. Maybe train. Train. Si ha sido entrenado. Trained. 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 Train. Have been. Have the new officer been trained. Oh, okay, no. and eventually number six. No, but, but, but it's Korean. Have, have been issued. issued. Have. A letter have uh, we have issued with B. Okay, there you have the examples. The examples. Eh, ¿Ya tomaron nota? ¿Puedo continuar? Yes. Sí, teacher. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Here in the manual says... Así voy, voy. Hold on. Okay, vamos a hacer el man. We're gonna do the practice that we have here in the in the manual. I'm sure I share the link at the chat. Can you see it? Here it is. I left the link in the chat. Can you open it? Can you open it? Yes, it's a
when you finish the exercise, let me know, please. It's just a, a test, I guess it is. Hágame un favor de mandar el link otra vez, porque se me, se me sacó cuando abría el enlace. Por please. Gracias.
Uh, did you finish? Not yet, teacher. Not yet. Not yet. Did you finish? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, well, uh, let's see the let's see the exercise, and you have to tell me what what do you think it is the proper form. It, it has just ten questions. Ten questions. Okay, 
this link you can find it uh, in your manual too. Okay, I'm gonna share a screen and let me know if you can oh if you can if you can see the exercise. This this doesn't work well. How about okay? He says, despite the transgression, his reputation. What it is number one. Has not been harmed. Has not been harmed. Okay, excellent. A question form, the patient's temperature. Has been taken. And number two. This one or this one? Number two. Number two, Is excellent. I Nearly 500 biscuit packets. Number eight. What it is? What do you have? Have been distributed. Okay, excellent. Have have been distributed. Distributed. Number <laughs> four, the run uh, auditorium have been entered by me. What is wrong with this sentence, which is supposed to be a sentence in present per in present perfect passive voice? ¿Cuál es el error? It uses the wrong form. Number two, it used the wrong form of auxiliary verb. Exactly. And main verb. Exactly. It is has. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Has she phoned him? We write the sentence in present perfect passive voice form. Number five. The sentence is correct as is. Has? Is. Has, has he been born? This one. Number three. Excellent. Why has minister trip been postponed? What it is? One, two, three, four. The sentence is correct. Mm. This As one. is. Number four. Okay. Excellent. Seven. The result of the degree examination. Number three, have not been announced. Okay. Eight, they have not contracted. Miss Liz have not been contracted by them. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad, that was my bad, I'm sorry. Okay, and number nine, one, two, three, or five? Sorry, one, two, three, or four? Three. Three, this one. Number four, four. has been invited. Four, has four. been invited. 
in a uh, number 10. Yeah. Have been submitted. submitted. Have been submitted. Excellent. Very good. ¿Cuánto tuvieron de nota? More, more than seven. More than six. Ten. More than eight. More than eight. nine. Who has ten? Okay, vamos a hacer el siguiente ejercicio. El manual propone este link. Ya lo probé y si abre y no es virus. Ok. Ok, there we go. I left the link in the chat. Hello. Hello, finished. 
No, yet, teacher. ¿Lo hacemos individual o lo hacemos ahorita? Que alguien proyecta. Uh, como ustedes gusten, si lo pueden apoyarse, si lo quieren hacer individual, no hay problema. Okay. Compañeros. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Ya lo están haciendo o cómo hacemos? Yo ya lo estoy haciendo, lo único que no, no podría proyectar. No sé si alguien más puede. ¿Pueden ver? Sí. Lea has been finished. Mm -hmm. That has drunk the milk. The milk has been drunk. It's been drunk. The girls have plucked the flowers. Has been plucked. I watched them. Has, has been watched. Has been watched. Peter has broken the window. Window has been broken. Has been broken. <laughs> Six letters have been written. Have been written. <clears throat> have you received the parcel? Have the parcel, parcel been received? Yeah. Oh no. Has has it? Oh. Has. <laughs> Bueno. Have they accepted the invitation? Has the invitation been, been accepted? accepted? Have no her for a long time. She has been no. Has been no. Her team has won the championship. The championship. Has been, has won. been won. She has mended her ways. Her ways had been mended have by been. her. No sería have has been. been. Ah, no. no Porque está malo. Bueno, está bien. Has been. Sí, vea, sería have. Have, have been mended. I have cooked dinner. Dinner has been cooked. Oh, but it is I. Dinner. Has cooked. No, has been cooked. No, has been cooked. No, oh, aquí okay, Una, nada más. How was it? What's number seven, seven. teacher? It's the first. Has okay. Seven. Excellent. Uh, now try with this one. Can you open it? Check. Has been cooked. Yes, yes. Finish. Has cooked dinner. Las respuestas. Answer. Todas salieron buenas. Now try with this one. I left it in the chat. Yes. 
Sí, se oye como ter... así como que hablan. <coughs> ya estoy igual que Clarita. <risa> Gracias, perfecto. Pases voy. Albert, have, have been. A letter is singular. Yes, have. I say has. Has. Has, teacher. Have, have or has. Broke, broke. Has. This has because it's the has. singular. H-A-S. Yes. Has been written. Right. Right. No. Hot. Home. Have. Have es un home es un nombre o no, sí, verdad. Home. Sí, es nombre. Home. George. Bill. Hey. Eh, una consulta, Sandrita, la primera llevaría Curitan, así con M o no? Sorry. Britain, ¿en Ajá. cuál? The no, first. Uh -huh. A letter has been written. Yes, by me. Homes have had just painted. ¿Cómo? Painted. Bien painted. O solo painted. Have been painted. ¿Así? Uh -huh. Ok. Painted. Food. Eh, food. Está hablando. Yeah. 
Hat también, ¿verdad? Has. Has o hat. Dura singular. <ríe> eh, singular, creo. O hat. Bueno, aquí vamos a, a escribir el bin y el cut. Okay. Bin, cut. Cut, así o, o solo cut. Cut. Sin curar. Así que dicen los demás. Guillermo, Rosibel. Bitcoin. Mucho ruido tengo, no puedo tener el micrófono, por eso solo las estoy escuchando. Okay. Me va a regañar la Clary. Y di. Va a participar. Yes. Okay. Bit good. Good. It. Football. 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 Um. Have. Have not. Had. Have not been. No. Para hacer la negativa, verdad. Yes, es negativo. ¿Cómo es, Rosy? Sí. Have not been... Have not... Have not been... Played. Have not been... Tengo la, la fórmula aquí. Has o have, no, más not be, más pasado participio. Es, más el, play. Es, el verbo. Play. Así. Play. 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 Has not be. Sí, sí. Yes. Okay. Uh, have. Rose, have. Have those? Have implemented. Implement. Implement. It is by them yet. Implement. It is. Yes. By them. Okay. Has not made. Has not, has not been yet, has not been made. Mm -hmm. Enemy. May de, de pasado. May es pasado. May es pasado, no. Make o make. 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 Así como, Ay, espera. Así como lo escribí. May. Yes. Sí, sí, así es, así. Enemy. Enemy. Has. Has been. Has. Or been. Or have been. Has been. Flight is. Flow, life, flow. I don't fight. Ah, sí. Let me fight. Flow, flow. O, F O. No. Hello, did you finish? Yes, teacher. How was the score? Night. Night. 
Nine, okay. A letter Nine. has a letter has been written. Number one. Yes. Es que la primera no salió mal y así estaba. Por eso la cambiamos así. And nothing. Y la number four, what is chair? Football oh, has not been played. Hasn't maybe the contraction. Ah, uh, hasn't. Check. Okay, but don't be sad. I, I know you like tense. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, here you have another one. This is easier. Hasn't. Hasn't been played. Ah, okay. Deje otro link. Okay. That's it, boy. It's perfect. Choose the correct answer. Santa has proved many gifts. Santa has proved. Santa, Santa has been bro. Sería la letra de I A. Number two, Kim has bought an umbrella. Has been bought. Been bought. A. A. But three, Joe has picked. Some flowers. Has been picked. Um, ¿Quién es las flores o yo? Cuando lo cambia. Yo has picked. Some flowers have, have been picked by yo. Ajá. Uh -huh. De ahí está hablando de. The flowers. Flora, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Four. Sam has called the police. The police have been called. The police have been called. Uh -huh. The police has. Tengo mis dudas con eso. Si se sabe o has. Teacher se interpreta de la forma ese de, se cambia o solo es tal como está la oración. What number? En todas. Santa has brought, has been. You have to choose. El sujeto es Santa o el sujeto es eh, si lo hay que cambiarlo the gift. Mm, I see. No, just the structure, solo la estructura. O sea, la oración tal como está, solo se, se, solo se, se elige A o B. Exactly, A or B. Ah, ok. Entonces ahí si es así, Easy, la right? tres sería. Uh -huh. La tres sería A entonces. Mm -hmm. Sam has school. The police have been called. Mm -hmm. They That's... have sold their house. Have been has been sold their a. Yeah. Yes. Your six Peter has hung the flag. Has been hung. Has been hung. Luis has given a long speech. Luis has given. Has, has been given. Has been a. given. Sarah has broken her hands. Has been broken. James has sung a nice song. Has been sung. Has been sung. Right. 
right has marked the belt has been has been wrong. Mary has thrown the paper has been thrown has been thrown. Ralph has scored gold. The ball has, has been scored. Been Randy has ridden the horse. Has been ridden. Ridden. Carl has lost the report. Carl has been lost. Been lost. Kevin has shot the target. Has been shot. Has been shot. The clown has got the bounce. Has been gone. Clown? What is what is letter A? Pick a clown. Letter T. Payas. Mm. Has been. Has been. Has been. Has been. Who has already been cooked? Uh, uh, mala. Football. Uh, football. Mm -hmm. Football has not been. Are you sure has not been? Has. Has not been. Mm -hmm. Has not Has been. Hasn't. Been Try already. with hasn't. Hasn't. Ah, hasn't. Okay. Pero lo podemos dejar así, ¿verdad? No. Oh, yeah. Has in what? And the teacher que no. En cuál? En las negativas. Eh, la number A is has. Number A is has. Has been. Mm -hmm. Has or had? Has. 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 Has been made. Uh -huh, okay. Hasn't been made. Okay. Okay. Check. Tenemos otro link. <risa> sí, ya lo veo. Ok. Vaya, bueno, pues vamos a ver este. Abajo está, para que chequee la respuesta. Sí, oye, es... ay, chita cosa. Yo para el link. No sé para el link. Vamos más arriba. Finish. 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 <risa> Ay, no, la ten me salió mala. ¿Cuál? En has era. Has era. Es has. ¿Y por qué me dijeron que la siete era has been? ¿Cuál? Se ven. Se ven igual. Number one, a letter has been has been written, is correct. Me salió mal. ¿Se equivocó con algo? No, revise. Revisen, revisen. Eh, les falta una, una T, creo. Doble ¿Una? T. Written. Written. Ay, es doble, doble T. No sería brote. <risa> brote. No, brote. En la, en la primera. Eh, no, brote. Es pa brite. participo. ¿Y en la CB? ¿Quién le faltó? En la seven, the enemy 
has been. It has. Has, has been. Has been. Menos ocho dice que no. Menos ocho. Uh, ocho de diez. <laughs> Bye. Vamos a abrir el otro link que mandó el teacher. Si puede enviar el screen a la, al grupo de WhatsApp, please. Okay, teacher. Y si tienen los demás ejercicios también, por si, si los tienen. <laughs> Ya los enviaré. Creo que este es. Bye. <laughs> Ahí está. Y aquí que vamos a hacer, le vamos a poner la letrita. We choose the the correct sentences. For example, Santa has brought many gifts. Uh, Santa has been brought. Pero te vamos a poner la letra. La letra, yes. Okay. Joy has. Aquí está la doble. Tim yes. has brought. Sería. What? Number two. Hey, hey, hey. Joy has been. Number two. Joy has been. They have been sold. No flowers. Has been picked some flowers. Number eight. Hey, sería. Uh -huh. Been has been. Or has been called. Some has been called. Siempre la. Sí. Number five. Letter. Uh, they have been. Let it be. Letter uh -huh. B. 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 Okay. Let's see. Peter has has been hung. Hey. Luis has been given. Hey. Luis has been some. Has been broken, es verdad. Uh -huh. Sara has been. Hey. Sí, has. Nombre personal de Luis. Has. Nadie es has también. Es. Nadie. Has been. Uh, yes. Ten. ¿Qué es cry? Cry. ¿Ah? Es? Cry. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde dice? Quiero ver el cry. Crie. Es, creo que es chilla. <risa> ah, <risa> a mí no me sale en el traductor. Que... <risa> cry. A ver qué es. ¿A dónde dice? 
Hi. Yes, Karai, Karai, Karai. I'm sorry? Karai? I'm sorry, I don't get it. I don't get the question. Karai. Karai is a name. Karai has wrong. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Number 10. Number 10. Okay, Karai yes. has rung the bell. Yes, what is the question? <laughs> it's a name. What is right uh, name? It's the name. Sí, está antes del verbo tiene que ser. Es un nombre. Antes del verbo tiene que ser nombre o un ah, noun. Entonces has has been right, has been. Has been there. Eleven. Six. Has been. Twelve. 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 Has has been. Has been. Um. Ay, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Tres. Was thirteen. A todas le vamos poniendo a tal vez salen buenas o malas. Has been reading the horse. Has been, but has been. Well, has been lost. Fixing, fix, fix, fix. Kevin has been shot. Has has been shot. The target. Letter eight. Fixing. Fixing. Eight. Has been short. Has been. Y esta. Zero A. Has been. The clone. The clone has been got. Have. Bonus. Let it be. Has been got. Okay. Bye. Buena suerte. Okay. Good yes. luck. Good luck. <laughs> Ay, tengo miedo. Guay. <risa> ah, vamos a ver. Ahí está, Ahí está entonces. Ah, ¿por qué ocho? Nos salieron sí, sí, sí. tres malas. Cuatro. La, la, las primeras tres. Las primeras tres y la six. Ah, no, las eight. Esta vez. Pero ¿por qué será? No sé. Ah, no le puedo estar pichando. Sí, es un nombre. Vaya, Sandrita, usted qué buena formular la pregunta. Pregúntale al teacher porque no salió mal. En inglés. ¿Cuántas salen? ¿Cómo One, two, three. No dígale, teacher, I have a question. Lo demás se lo dice. Being broken. Number five is correct. Yes. They have. Sarah has been broken. So. Uh, number eight, it is letter A. I don't know what you got wrong. Mm -hmm. Pero fíjense que pasó igual conmigo porque yo las hice aparte y la primera, segunda y tercera. One, two, three. Are back, back. But Santa has has been broke. Yo has been picked. No, está sacando. Ok. Okay, let's let's. Uh, how was the exer How were the exercises? Do you have more than sevens, more than eight, more than nine? Eight. Eight. All right. 
All right. So through these links, you have been practicing the structure of the passive voice in present perfect tense. Tomorrow, we're going to go over, we're going to practice the present perfect plus simple past and simple present. Okay. But tomorrow, uh, do not forget to do the homework assignments, please, for at least before Friday. And these coming days, you will receive the survey, the survey, la encuesta. So please don't do it. You have to do the survey until the last day of class together. And don't forget the homework assignments, right? Okay, right now I need to take the attendance list. When I mention right now, please have your cameras on, please. Just by take, just to take the attendance list. Turn your cameras on to take the attendance list, please. Your camera's on. Thank you very much. Okay, Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Hernández Sotelo. Present, teacher. Maribel Ramos. Present. Calderón Present. de López. Present, teacher. Alvarado de Benavides. Present, teacher. López González. Present, teacher. Rugamas Melara. Present. Santana González. Present. Tobar Ayala. Herrera Lucha. Alvarado Mejía. Present. Mejía Hueso. Present teacher. León Rivera. Present teacher. Romero Ayala. Present teacher. Rosibel Hernández. Asencio Arevalo. Molina. Present. De... Thank you. Molina. Sorry. <laughs> López. Present. López de Cabrera. Present. And that's it. Okay. We'll uh, see you next class tomorrow in the same channel at the same time. God bless you and good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Let's make thank you.